Friends, when we say scholarly articles are crucial for your EB1A application, we mean it. They are the pillars that strengthen your EB1A profile pretty important ones also. Now, the first question that often comes up is, can I outsource these papers? But here's the truth. If you are thinking of outsourcing your paper, you are not just walking down the wrong path. You are also entering dangerous territory. A lot of people, including our clients, get solicited by a lot of third party sources saying that, hey, we'll write your papers for you. You don't need to lift a finger, like just do it. It is a recipe for a disaster coming up. Please do not do that. And it's not just unethical, it's considered as fraud, both in the eyes of US immigration and in the academic world as well. Forget about outsourcing papers. It won't even help your EB1A application. Let's break down why though. Number one, to meet the EB1A scholarly articles criteria, USCIS looks for papers that you have authored and published in major journals. If you claim authorship of the work done by someone else, you are misrepresenting yourself. This is the definition of fraud. And if USCIS finds out, it could lead to a visa denial or even worse, a lifetime ban from the US. Number two, papers written by ghostwriters lack depth. They lack originality because it's just a touch and go on many topics that they do. They don't meet the standard of major publications and certainly don't showcase the extraordinary ability that the EB1A requires. Submitting such papers extremely weakens your application, uh, reducing your chances of your EB1A approval as well. And then you'll be stuck fighting these RFEs and NOIDs and many other things, which basically claim that the journals you published in are not major, or worse even, no journal will even accept the papers because they are substandard to begin with and lack depth in the subject matter. Outsourcing has serious consequences in academics too. If you are an academician, most journals are crystal clear in their instructions, do not outsource your papers. Why? Well, because outsourcing undermines the very purpose of academic research, showcasing your knowledge and understanding. It can lead to plagiarism that often content is reused without proper credit. Journals trust you, the author, to maintain the quality and accuracy of your work and outsourcing compromises this trust, which could lead to a lifetime ban on even publishing something out there in the future. So if a journal discovers that you have outsourced your work, the consequences can be severe. You could be blacklisted from submitting to that journal or any other journals in the field. The journal might even retract your published paper and your institution, whatever it is, it could be the industry or academia could impose sanctions or disciplinary action or even revocation of degrees as well. Friends, remember this, it's not worth it. Outsourcing papers has a serious issue. It can ruin your academic reputation and your immigration prospects as well. Don't even think about it. And that's why I always tell people to write the papers on their own. Now, let's talk about another thing, which is AI tools. AI tools like ChatGPT can actually help you summarize complex concepts. They can help you proofread or polish your work but they should not be used and they are not even ready to generate the primary content of your paper. The original ideas, the research, the analysis, and all of those should come from you. You should not rely on ChatGP to, to be your own thought process leader in coming up with the topics that you need to write about or the content of the paper that you need to write about. But what if you are not a researcher though? What if you are not used to writing papers? Here's the solution. You can still write a significant paper even if you are not a traditional researcher. A ton of people get this wrong. I get pretty much 10, 15 messages every single day saying, hey, I'm not a researcher. I've never written a paper. Can I be able to write a paper? Yes, you are. Because writing a paper is not about being a researcher. It is about having a certain expertise in a certain topic, which you put out to the world and the world reads it and benefits from it. Let me tell you what our clients do. They write about niche problems that they have solved at work or they craft white papers that are impactful in the field. And here's the good news. You don't have to be the first author to meet the EB1A scholarly articles criteria. Co-authoring with peers is a perfectly valid approach. In fact, it is recommended to do that because you get a good confluence of ideas and perspectives and uh, um, amalgamation of fields that you write about along with your co-author. And that really helps the process because it brings a unique combination which journals are mostly interested in most of the time. So my final thoughts here, 
Well, remember, don't outsource your paper. The consequences are severe both for your academic career and your immigration journey. And at the Smart Green Card Program's VIP plan, we help our clients choose the right thought leadership topics. We guide them on the format, the flow, the strategy, and we even help them identify journal opportunities that they can publish in. But let me be very clear, our clients write their own papers, including using their expertise and they publish them legitimately. We never write papers for anyone and anyone claiming to be able to write papers for you by you staying completely hands off is inciting you to do fraud. So if you are seeking a personalized legitimate support to build your EP1A profile, just explore the VIP plan of the Smart Green Card program. Our team does not accept everyone on the program. We say no to more people than we say yes to. And if you are interested to see if you are eligible or not, just submit the VIP plan application on our website. It's free to do so. And our team does a free evaluation of your entire profile and lets you know if you do qualify to move ahead with our program. Stay with us as we share daily insights on navigating the EB1A journey and subscribe to this channel to ensure that you never miss any guidance towards your EB1A goals and all this is for free. So thank you for watching. Until next time, this is Simon Shetty signing off. Peace.